Felix Shaw's been deaf his whole life, but it hasn't stopped him from doing the things he loves. I love fishing and I love woodwork. I would like to go down that path when I'm older, um, possibly construction management. He's able to hear thanks to these implants. It's magnetic, so you just put it on the implant yep. and then clip it so it doesn't fall off. Most of Felix's care has so far been funded, but in just two years' time, that'll all change. He'll no longer qualify for subsidies and will need to pay for everything himself, including hearing aid batteries. I discovered last year that when I turn 18, I'm going to have to pay $7.50 a week just so I can hear. The discovery sparked interest and a bid to inflict change. We were just doing a research project in class and I just thought, oh, this would be something interesting to research. And I think once I started to get my head around the numbers, I thought this is actually a problem that's not only affecting me, but it's going to affect loads of people. And so I wrote a speech and my teacher was shocked by it and she suggested that I maybe do something about it. So I started the petition and I put it up and I didn't think it would get much support, but I got over a thousand signatures within a short time and everyone was sharing it online and the support was overwhelming. Felix has highlighted an issue felt by many in our community and we do um, receive a lot of feedback from our community on that particular issue. We try to provide cost of cost-effective batteries um, through the NFDHH as an option for our community, but it's definitely something that is, you know, felt across the board. The petition's now got almost 2,000 signatures and has caught the attention of some ministers. With enough support, Felix hopes he can present it at the steps of Parliament. I would meet with a politician and there'd be a formal handover and then the politician would take it down to Parliament um, and then it would get read out in the House and then they would respond back to me with what they think could possibly happen. There's a range of hearing aid options available nowadays. Some like Felix's are battery powered, others are rechargeable. His need to be replaced every five years at a cost of seven and a half thousand dollars. Others on the market can cost up to ten thousand dollars. And with the number of Kiwis with hearing loss set to double in the next 25 years to nearly 2 million, calls for change are growing louder. A consideration given to a subsidy for consumables, particularly for low-income earners, um, would be appropriate. And because it is a, a high cost, if you go to um, get glasses, for example, you know, you can get fitted with glasses for $150, say, and then that's it. But when you are faced with getting hearing aids, even as an adult, you can be up to, you know, spending up to $10,000 for premium hearing aids. Then on top of that, depending on what type of hearing aid you have, you've got the consumables like hearing aid batteries that are an ongoing cost. Money many will have to continue forking out for now not made easier by cost of living pressures. Why should we have to pay $7.50 a week? Just, just because we were born deaf, it wasn't in our control. And so now we're kind of being forced to pay this cost. And I think the least that the government could do is maybe even pay half of it. I would like to try and get more support if I can. And also I would like to try and raise more awareness around this issue. Even if we present the petition and nothing happens, I want people to be aware of this issue. Hopes for change so that hearing is something everyone can afford.